Hey guys, it's your girl Prissy and I'm back with another hair tutorial. I know it's been a minute, but I'm so glad to show you guys how to do these easy finger coils. I'm starting off with freshly washed hair that is also being deep conditioned and detangled. I even touched up my roots so that they are nice and red. Now, normally I would use my Old Faithful, which is Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. But since I'm not going anywhere, I'll be using the Eco Styler Gel for colored hair. Now, if you're familiar with Eco Styler Gels, then you know they come in a plethora of options. Since I have a tapered cut, I'll also be using a sponge to coil the sides and back of my hair and a small tooth comb to further detangle and part my hair. Completely optional, but I do like adding an oil or elixir to my scalp before styling. This just ensures my roots stay moisturized and hydrated while I wear my hairstyle. Something that is new for me is adding setting lotion to my spray bottle of water. I find this helps my coils to stay soft and the Eco Styler from flaking as much. Because if we're going to keep it 100, the Eco Styler does flake. So jumping right into this style, guys, I'm adding the Shea Moisture Dandruff and Dry Scalp Elixir to my scalp. And I'll also give that a little massage. Using my Eco Styler Gel, I'm adding it to the sides and back of my hair because that's where I normally like to style first. Next, I'll use my sponge and my fingers to create the coils around the sides and back of my hair. So either I need a new sponge or I just didn't take my time, but the back could definitely have more definition than what I've done here. Nonetheless, I've already started the finger coils on the shortest parts of my hair and they are looking shiny and defined. Continuing with the front of my hair, I separate the amount I'm ready to work with right now. Then I'm going to add my setting lotion and water mixture, work that into my hair and detangle with a small tooth comb. When detangling, always start at the end and then work your way up to the roots of your hair. Next, add the Eco Styler Gel, mainly to the roots of your hair. Again, use your small tooth comb to detangle and work that gel into your hair. I break that section down even more before I actually start coiling. As you can see, I made my coils fairly small so that I don't have to unravel the coil. I just need to lift my roots once they dry. Now, what is a finger coil, you ask? It is exactly how it sounds, a coil that is formed with your fingers. So in that essence, we'll use our fingers as our styling tool. Take a small piece of hair and ensure it is smooth and slippery. Now, if not, you want to add a little more gel and detangle. Use your thumb and your pointer finger to start coiling the hair at the base. Move down the shaft of the hair while continuing to coil in a circle. Once you get to the end, I like to use my fingers to flick the coil upwards. This just seals the ends with a nice little coil. I continue this process all throughout my hair until it's finished. Now, 
Now, no lie, this does get kind of exhausting, especially like on your arms and stuff, but the results are totally worth it. Now that my coils are all done, I'm going to add some oil to finish it off. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, then you know I always end with some type of oil on my styles. Next up, diffusing, which is also totally optional. I'm so excited to finally have a new hair dryer. This one is by Hot Tools in this pretty blush color. And I'm going to pop on my favorite universal diffuser attachment. If you will be using a hand dryer for any of my styles, please, please, please get you one of these detachable diffuser, girl, because trust me, you will love it. When drying my hair, <laughs> I get in all types of positions, standing, sitting, leaning forwards, backwards, to the side, to the other side, just anything to ensure my hair is fully dry before picking my roots. Now that my hair has fully dried, I'm going to use the end of the comb to lift my roots on the sides and the back of my hair. The main goal here is to get rid of any visible parts and kind of hide your scalp. Next, I'll use my pick to lift the roots on the longer portions of my hair. Now, as you can see, I'm using my other hand to pull the coils away from my scalp before I start lifting with that pick. Like I said, we are only lifting the roots and not disturbing the actual coil. Continue to lift your roots until you are satisfied with your style. Now, I don't go too crazy on my first day because your hair will get bigger and bigger as the days go by. All right, guys, so that is it for my finger coil tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video and was inspired to do this technique for yourself. If you do, be sure to post a picture and tag me at Rush Hour Fashion. Also, give this video a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications for more. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.